Hey guys, welcome to SKM Fishing. Today I'm going to show you the most highly modded Johnny boat that you've probably ever seen. This is what I'm using for the King Macro Tournament, guys. So I'm going to give you a breakdown of everything I've done to this thing. So first thing I did was I made my own little trolley set right here. I didn't want to spend the money to buy Johnny's, so I made my own. And I'm going to make a video of that for you guys to see how to make your own. So you can lift it up from right here. On the front and just move it back and forth i don't have a strap down but see if i can do it yep see so you, you can go back and forth with it so that's that oh i was trying to move it back and forth i have the outboard try to scrape the crap out of it but whatever it's only the tip part so basically what i can do is i can lock it up like this and go all the way up for you guys to see tilt it and it's locked up and now i can move it around so you guys can see. There we go. And back and forth, as you can see. So I'm going to make a video for you guys to see that. Most important thing I have is the outboard on there, as you guys can see. is mounted onto the transom mount right there alone. And there you go. There you have it. I have a reserve three-gallon gas tank, which... Let me see if I can put it for you guys to show it to you guys. There's a pump that I will run through here. And what happens is when I need to fill up the outboard, I just put it from the top. I don't have to carry the can. So it goes in through here. So that's that. Now my stabilizers right here, I, I swapped out and put a solid stabilizer. I didn't tighten it all the way, but once you tighten this all the way, let me do this right here to show you guys. Put this side as well. Tighten this out. And this thing is solid compared to the old Brocraft ones. It is solid, as you can see. I can literally lift up the stabilizer bars and lift up the whole boat itself. So that's that. Got my two rods sitting in the rod holder. I have leashes for them, so in the event that if I do flip over, I will not lose my rods. And I also have... Instead of the seat, I opted out to do a cooler so that's to sit on. And then I strap it down so forth, uh, so forth with a ratchet strap. And that'll be tight. But this cooler I use as a live well. Just pop it open. See here. I have a pump right there. I need to drain the water. I can just pop out this part right here. In the back, I'll show you guys right there, and it drains out to the little hole right here. So, if I want to be out the water, that's fine, I can do that on the roll. Now, since right here, the wire runs perfect actually down in here, all the way up to a battery box or a battery that I have in the pot. Okay, now I have two down riggers, one. Two, these are the Scotty ones that work perfect for it. I'll do a video on all everything I'm, I'm putting onto the boat. I will do a video for you guys to see. Now, the good thing is, is I decided to get the clamp. I didn't want to bolt it on. And it fits perfect in this handle area. Let me show you guys real quick. So I'm going to take this off right now. And then, boom. See where the handle is? This is the clamp for the, the Scotty. Pop it right in. And then just tighten this part out. So I got two down riggers on there. I got two rod holders, one and two. And come back here to the stand. I have a stand right here. And then I also got the paddle holder right here sitting on there. So that's there. When I sit down onto the Johnny boat, I have a handle that I can sit on. As I'm controlling the outboard back here, right? And that gives me a little bit of stability. I also have a Garmin 4CV fish finder that sits right here. And the transducer goes around the boat and into the water right there. So no holes drilled or anything like that. For the tournament, it's required to have a radio. I have a radio that I mounted on here. And the wire just wraps around up under there into the pod itself where I have the batteries 
I have two batteries sitting in there, as you can see. The two batteries, I can get a 50 amp. Uh, unfortunately, I was in a rush, and I only got 20 amps a piece, so I bought two of them. That's that. And then when the radio hooks up, and I, and I tell you, I tested it out. It lasts all day, guys. So you don't have to worry about getting a big battery. But you turn the radio on, it's here. There you go. Let me put the weather channel for you guys to hear, listen to it. Hey, hey, hey. And you guys can see that the battery works, or I'm sorry, the radio works. I also have a mount right here for the GoPro and a mount for the flag. So this right here is my rig for the ocean and fishing so as you can see it's fully built um this is probably the most that you're ever going to see on any johnny boat and everything i put on here i'm going to make a video for you guys to see so you guys decide if you guys want to um, rig your johnny boat the same way or do something different but it gives you an idea of what you can do um again it's a little overkill i have four rods here sitting there four rods so but more lines in the water, more chances of catching fish, right, guys? But this is the this is what I would recommend. Um, maybe if, if you want to keep it, you know, not as as much, you know, you don't have to get the downriggers. But um, when you're doing when you're uh, trolling for certain fish, you need downriggers. But there you go. So there you have it. On this mod list, I have the boat itself, the transom mount, an outboard, some stabilizers. Some rod holders, Scotty rod holders, mounts my brother right there. Um, downriggers, a cooler um, option that I purchased. You can get this from Walmart. Actually, my sister gave me this, and I, I found use for it. It kind of matches the boat itself uh, for my live well. Boom. And then your radio. You might not need it. I needed it for a tournament, so I have a radio, and I can listen to uh, the weather, and I can put, push the stress and talk to your Coast Guard if, you know, you need to talk to your Coast Guard, if you're taking out outside the ocean. Um, that, the batteries all sit in there, and there you have it, guys. Nothing to it. Um, so far, I think this is probably the most decked out Johnny boat that you'll see online. So, that's that. This right here, I'll show you what I did to fix the stand. Uh, the stand had a lot of hiccups, so I'll show you what I, I did to, to fix that. And then also I put these little um, lights because you're going to need these navigation lights out in the ocean um, for other boats to see. And it was, I purchased these from Amazon for really cheap. And you just click on it, and you got your nav lights right here so people can see from a distance. You can't see it right now because it's daytime, but it is pretty bright. And there you go, guys. Let me do another walk around for you guys to see. Starting from the back right here. And that is your Johnny boat, guys. If you guys have any questions, comment below, and I'll do my best to answer those questions for you. Um, until then, thank you for watching SKM. Please like, please subscribe if you're new to the channel, and thanks for watching.